Hi everyone, this is your Dallas-Fort Worth real estate broker, Nick Good, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about the top critical mistakes that first-time homebuyers make when it comes to buying their first house. Buying your first home can be an exciting but scary experience, and we've come up with the top mistakes to avoid when it comes to buying your first home. Critical mistake number one is looking at houses before getting pre-approved for a home loan. And the reason why this is a critical mistake is because oftentimes we see home buyers that are looking at houses outside of their price range and unfortunately they can't make an offer on that home and then they start comparing the higher price home to homes that are in their price range and it just sets unrealistic expectations and that's the last thing we want to do the second reason we want to talk with a lender before going out and looking at houses is if there's any blemishes on your credit report it gives us and the lender the opportunity to help you get your credit in tip-top shape so that you can get the best interest rate and the lowest fees possible. No one wants to spend more money unless they have to. Critical mistake number two is not having enough cash reserves when it comes to buying a home. Sure, there's some 100% financing and some down payment assistance programs that we'll cover, but it's always imperative to have five to $10,000 minimum saved up when it comes to buying your first house. The reason why we're gonna need cash up front is when you go under contract, there's gonna be some checks that you have to write. You're gonna to have to write an option check. You're gonna to have to write earnest money check. You're gonna to have to write for an appraisal check, as well as you're gonna to have to write inspection checks. And so at the end of the day, you need about five to $10,000 saved up so that you can be ready to purchase your first home. Critical mistake number three involves the myth about down payments. A lot of buyers think you have to have 20% down in order to qualify for a home loan, and that's just not true. We are seeing on average, the National Association of Real Estate Agents uh, did a recent survey and the average buyer put down 13%. Now, when we look at it, our average home buyer is putting in between three to 5% down. So we can definitely help you get set up with the right lender that will help you find that right loan product that's available. Critical mistake number four is being reckless with your credit. So once you go under contract, that doesn't mean that you can uh, breathe a sigh of relief and start spending recklessly with, on your credit card and opening up new credit accounts. The lender, right up until the day of closing, will check your credit to make sure that your financial landscape has not changed. So if you are planning on financing a new washer dryer or buying a fridge or et cetera for your new house, please wait to do so until after you close on your home and then you can open up new credit accounts and go out and buy that lawnmower and that new fridge and washer and dryer. Critical mistake number five is we see a lot of times people make decisions based on their emotions versus logic. And what this can do is it can backfire, especially if we're in multiple offer situation. Oftentimes we see buyers look at the emotional side and want to win a house in a bidding war and it goes above and beyond what they can afford financially and then they feel stuck. So we always, as good real estate brokers do, we always try to take the emotion out and look at the logical side of, is this house the most efficient house for you? Does it fit within your financial landscape, within your budget? And are we gonna be able to help you resell this house in the next two, three, four, five years, if and when that time comes? So getting with that right real estate broker will really help you take that emotional side out and still make it a fun process when it comes to buying your first home. And last but not least, is we see oftentimes critical mistake number five is first time home buyers being way too picky when it comes to buying their first house. And oftentimes what we do as real estate brokers at the Good Home Team is that we have our clients make a wants and a needs list because there's a huge difference between wanting something in a new home versus needing something in your new home. Your wants list is typically something we always say that you can compromise on, meaning uh, does it, have, it doesn't have a three-car garage, but you can live with a two-car garage. It doesn't have an office, but you're, you, know, you don't need an office. The needs list is deal breaker items, meaning if you need four bedrooms and the house that you really love has three bedrooms, if that's gonna cause a real big imposition on you, we always say that's a deal breaker item. We wanna make sure that we get you in that right house and also having to compromise very little. So well, oftentimes we see home buyers that are way too picky, not finding the house that they want and taking way too long to get under contract on a new home, which typically can cost them more money. So it's always best to look at it when you're buying your first home to analyze your wants and needs list. And if you're liking this video, please subscribe down below. And if you wanna reach out to us to see if you can qualify for a new home or search homes available in the Dallas-Fort Worth market, you can always give us a call at 972-215-7653, or you can go to our website and search all available homes for sale at thegoodhometeam.com. 
Please again, if you're watching this, please subscribe or leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.